Hey, and welcome back. With my hobby of collecting, modifying, and flipping drums, I always keep an eye out on sites like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace for a good deal. Recently, I came across a drum set in pretty rough shape for just $60. The pictures really didn't show too much, but I was able to spot an old Ludwig Acrylite snare, so I didn't waste any time going to pick this one up. Upon my return home, I took everything out of my car and brought it into the garage to take an assessment of what I had. So all in all, I had a 22-inch bass drum, a 16-inch floor tom, a 13-inch rack tom, and a 12-inch rack tom, all of which were a percussion plus kit, despite the bass drum having this space percussion decal on it. A 14x5 Ludwig Acrylite snare from the 70s, a kick pedal, snare stand, hi-hat stand, and some miscellaneous hardware bits, and finally, a set of 14-inch camber hi-hats. I decided quickly to cut my losses on a few of these pieces and threw away the kick pedal, along with a number of broken lugs which were sent along with this kit. Plenty of the lugs from these drums were missing, and this is something I see a lot on these cheaper kits with cast lugs. After I got these drums downstairs, I started the process of trying to see what I could fix up and sell or reuse. I started with the bass drum, and my initial hope was to strip some lugs off of one of the rack toms and add those to where the missing ones were on the bass drum, but as it turns out, the sizing for the bass drum lugs were slightly larger than the rest of the drums. Luckily, I keep a large supply of spare parts from other drums, and it seems like almost all of these import budget kits use the same lugs, so I was able to find some in my bin of cheap lugs. I was able to get just enough lugs, tension rods, and claws together to get this drum back in order, and I set it aside to move on to the next drum. I shifted my attention over to the Acrylite snare, the most valuable piece from this haul. It was in great shape, other than the batter head and throw off. But luckily, I already had a number of extra P85 throw offs, just like the one from this drum, from all those Ludwig snares I fixed up for a school earlier this summer. I replaced the throw off and then swapped out the head for something a little less beat up, and now this drum was all ready to be sold. Around the same time, I ended up using this 13 inch tom from the set to make a fun, festive Halloween drum o lantern, and I made a whole video on this already, so if that interests you at all, make sure to go check that out on my channel. For the remaining two drums, I needed to replace a few more of these broken lugs, find a rubber foot for the floor tom leg, and add a new drum head so that the two matched and I could more easily sell them as a pair. I was able to do this again with all parts I had on hand, so no investment needed. So with all these drums back in working order, I began the process of photographing all these pieces and then transferring those photos over to my computer to list on sites like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and Reverb. I've been reselling on sites like this for well over 10 years, so this is nothing new for me. I try to make sure my expectations are realistic and to price things in a way where I hope they'll move quickly. It's not always worth making an extra $10 on an item if it means it's going to sit around in my basement for an extra two months waiting for the perfect buyer. It didn't take long after getting these listings up before I had my first sale. Within the first day of listing, I had a friend from across the country reach out about the Acrylite snare, and I was able to sell him this drum for $250, and after shipping, I ended up netting $225 on this one. Within the same day, I was also able to sell the bass drum to a friend looking for a large drum to use for chants and cheers with his club that meets to watch European soccer matches at a local bar. I was able to get $40 for this drum, bringing the total sold amount to $265. After about a week, I was able to find a buyer for the set of hi-hats. I initially listed these for $40, but I ended up netting $25 on these, bringing the total to $290. And finally, after another week or so, an older gentleman reached out to buy the two remaining toms. I had initially listed these for $40 as well, but I ended up getting $30, which was fine. So all in all, I ended up with $320 for everything I was able to piece out from this set. And in addition, I ended up with a pretty cool Halloween drum o lantern and a snare stand which I'll most likely save to sell with some other drum down the road. I was able to fix up all these drums with parts on hand, so minus my initial $60 investment, I was able to net a total profit of $260, resulting in a 533% return on investment. 
It's certainly not paying my mortgage, but I enjoy this sort of side hustle, and it helps give me the resources to invest in other drums to either keep for my collection or flip in the future. If I have any fellow drum flippers out here watching this video, leave a comment down below to let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on future video releases. Until next time, thanks.